hey y'all it's blake welcome to this video today we're doing some mini twists so let's go ahead and get into it all right so i this footage is actually from a sponsor post that i did for my instagram with aussie so that's why i was using aussie products but i didn't want this footage to go to waste and yeah i haven't been uploading so <laughs> I just wanted to um, use it and turn it into a YouTube video so I can have it more permanently and you know it's like searchable. So I do a little bit of explaining. I start, I shampooed, conditioned, deep conditioned and moisturized my hair and put it into braids so it would stretch the night before. So I just used my favorite products. I don't even remember what they were. Um, but yeah, my hair dried about 85% like it was still a little damp but it was very much pretty much dry that doesn't make sense but whatever <laughs> so um, I just slept with a brace overnight so I would have some stretch and the twists wouldn't shrink because they were soaking wet so I'm just parting my hair into three sections two in the front and then one large one in the back so I can make the rows and I'm just you know using my two mirrors so I can do something straight like an easy way to do your own parting is to kind of just get a general one easily to the back through the back of your head and then use another mirror so you can see the back of it use two mirrors so you can see the back of your head and then kind of clean it up with uh, a rat tail comb so that's what you see me doing here and i wasn't like too too particular like it just wasn't that serious but sometimes i am a little like particular about my parts so this is a good method to use if you're by yourself all right so now i'm just taking some products i used the frizz taming cream by aussie you can use your favorite moisturizing cream and i took their hydration oil by aussie and applied it to my rubber bands because i am doing rubber bands on these i wanted to try rubber bands on my mini twist just to see like what it was about see if it made a difference and for me it the parts stayed very clean for a long time and it gave it more of a like hair added protective style if you know what i mean so it's definitely optional you can braid you can just twist like just depending on you know what you want to do but this was like you know a nice little thing i would definitely do it again it you know it just depends on like the look you're going for so yeah i am i added the oil to the rubber bands so they would be more slip and they were easy to come out when it came time to take these out and then i put the rubber band on i applied some cream and i just twisted so yeah that's it So yeah, I just wanted to give y'all, you know, the overall explanation, a little gist. Um, so I'll let y'all watch the rest of the video and I'll see y'all at the end.
like to like do this kind of situation where my hair is like this. Alright y'all, so thanks for watching, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one, bye!